Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and technology tour of this 2010 Toyota Prius Level 5 Advanced Technology. We talked earlier about the LED headlights and the fog lights. This has front parking sonar because this has the uh, automatic parking system in it and the lane keep assist. So this car actually has positive control over the steering and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. I also have a Toyota video, an official Toyota video that shows you how the system operates. Now this car is very clean. Taking a look at the leather interior of this car. It's got reclining seats, fold flat. Uh, this is a hatchback so you can store your cargo. You can fit desks and file cabinets and furniture into this car. It's got a lot of room, more room than some SUVs. Yet you can carry five passengers. It's a 60-40 split folding rear seat. The leather is in excellent condition. It's got power lumbar. Look at the driver's seat, excellent condition. Driver's seat looks like it only maybe has about 10, 15,000 miles on it. It's in really good shape. Move that away. All the leather looks good. This is a Toyota factory owned company car. This was never sold to the public. It was never at a dealership. This was at the Toyota headquarters U.S. factory uh, headquarters in Torrance, California and assigned to factory executives. It's got the stainless steel, a body accent molding. Now let's get inside and show you some of the features. Starting here, this specific car has remote start. So if I press lock, lock, and hold lock, the engine will remote start, which it just did. So it's got remote start air conditioning feature remote uh, engine start so the engines kicked on right now the AC's kicked on um, that's like a $500 option oh, uh, it's a Toyota genuine accessory it's very rare to find but this does have it remote start air conditioning system uh, it'll even work for uh, heat with the remote start system tires are in excellent condition stereo kicked on Bluetooth kicked on now if I get in the car, this has a three button smart key system. So, and I do have two keys for this car. So with the touch sensors here, you can lock the car or you just reach. I'm going to put the key in my pocket. I just reach for the door handle, unlocks the car. That, because of the remote start feature, that turned off the car because you don't want a thief to jump in and steal your car. So I push the brake, sensor the key, Start the car. The car starts up. Goes through its boot up sequence. Bluetooth will engage and my music will start playing off my wireless device. Uh, whatever the last song that was playing will continue. Now, this car is a level 5 advanced technology. Has a lane keep assist system. What is Lane Keep Assist? That's your Bluetooth streaming music. I'm going to explain that in a minute. Let's turn that down. You heard the music start. Okay, let's talk about Lane Keep Assist. You see the steering wheel? Very hard to find feature on the right side of the steering wheel button. You've got your radar sensor button and Lane Keep Assist. So Lane Keep Assist has a forward looking camera located up here. This is your forward-looking camera right here, it's looking at your traffic lanes. So when you turn on lane keep assist, you got lane indicators in the overhead display. So the forward-looking camera is tracking your lane. So uh, this also has a dynamic radar cruise control. So when you engage cruise control where it says radar ready, you have a forward-looking radar, forward-looking camera, and lane tracking. So you can set the speed whatever speed you want to go and you can literally let go of the steering wheel for a few minutes and the and watch as the car will steer it it'll turn automatically steer it to the left steer to the right you can put it into a curve and engage lane keep assist and it'll hold it in a turn now 
that doesn't mean that when it gets to the end of the turn it's going to go straight you still have to drive the car it's not an autopilot i would stop short of calling it an autopilot but it works sort of like that to enhance the safety so when you're in a maneuver if you're driving tired if you're driving in fog uh, bad weather rain snow i mean in low visibility condition or distracted conditions a lot of heavy traffic you engage that radar cruise control and if traffic suddenly comes to a stop the radar system is looking ahead and it'll automatically engage the brakes in less time than you would react if you're tired or distracted or in bad weather you see chain reaction crashes every month across the country where people are driving they go into a dust storm they go into fog, they go into rain, and then uh, they crash into cars. But with this pre-collision system and the radar cruise control, you can avoid those circumstances because the radar is can see right through fog, right through rain, low visibility conditions, and uh, avoid collisions. And if you're in an imminent situation where you're going to crash, your little seat belts will pull tight, pull you tight into your seat, and your brake. Normally you have you have a uh, when you push on the brake pedal it moderates you know you got push harder and you got more brakes when pre collision you know situation is detected as soon as you touch the brake pre pedal you have full pressure for an emergency stop even if your reaction doesn't tell you hey push harder on the brake the car is ready and it will react that way give you a chance to swerve stop or take whatever actions necessary to avoid a collision uh, it's a very nice setup and uh, it does work fairly well I've seen the system operate a few times you know we're coming in traffic and you decide ah, I'll swerve around this car you can feel the thing say hey whoa you know you'll react and it has the potential to avoid an accident uh, especially for distracted drivers now this has a lot of technology it's not the, the technology on this car is not distracting it's all for safety so I mentioned the Bluetooth let's look at that of course it has the navigation with the premium screen here so as I back out here I've got a high resolution display navigation system this system will show live traffic data displayed uh, you have to subscribe for about three dollars a month or so from uh, XM satellite and you'll get red green or yellow lines along the freeway so when you're driving this little traffic indicator if you have a destination let's say you're driving to the airport and you're worried about the traffic on the way to the airport this will warn you if there's traffic um, you can go out and look at the car and check if the roads are clear before you head out to the airport and maybe even take a take a detour uh, to avoid an accident so you don't miss your plane or um, don't be late for work those kind of things really could help you out uh, you don't have to punch in the destination every time by hand you've got voice command navigation that actually works older cars 2009s and older they didn't have this system that these newer ones do so it's got voice commanded navigation without touching the screen you just talk to it you say destination destination say a command previous destination previous destinations stay a number from the list so you got a list of uh, destinations that you could go here Part. and then uh, that's all you have to do to navigate of course the first time you actually have to enter the address and you don't have to do it by hand you can if you pull over and stop you can enter them by hand but if you're driving you just uh, pay attention to the road and you just press and talk to the navigation system and uh, it's very accommodating it works very well older nav systems didn't have the capability that this high-tech one even the 2012 and newer with a smaller screen don't work as good as this one this is a really nice setup and now let's talk about the Bluetooth music because Bluetooth music is a reason all by itself of course you have Bluetooth hands-free calling so you got a phone here so you can uh, sync your phone to the radio and you got your dial pad you can import all your phone numbers into the navigation system and everything is ready to go here so I have music playing right now 
Now the music is not on the radio, the music is on my device. The source for the music is my device. And um, I'm just playing the music here, so let's see. I don't know what I... Let's play this one. So I can fast forward to the next song, it's on the device. I want to change to this one. Go to this music. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. So, and it's premium JBL audio system, so you can fast forward to the next song. See that? I push the button on the steering wheel, and it changed the next song. Okay, the brown. So all your music that you saved on your uh, device, Android doesn't matter, iPhone doesn't matter, I have an iPhone here, it's playing from the device to the radio in digital quality sound. Let's say you go to the gym, you're listening on your little headphones, you unplug those, you get in the car, your songs will continue where you last left off. Or you can go in here and change to a different uh, playlist or whatever. Or this car is the newer version of the 2010 so it also has the SOS system very similar to General Motors OnStar and it has a USB port in the center console so you can save all your little uh, songs onto a little flash drive and stick them in and to the plug and from your audio page you have access to your USB auxiliary port Bluetooth CD 4 disc CD changer satellite radio FM or AM and it does have a satellite radio tuner now I'm going to show you the parking assist system. So let's put this car into reverse. It does have a color backup camera, but it has these two little buttons on the bottom here. So if I press that button, it gives me a little green box. Now I'm not in a parking lot with marked spaces, but uh, I could say I want to park in that green box. The yellow flag says steer around any obstacle in that location. Now I can adjust the green box to a different place, but I'm happy with it right there. So just hit okay now with my hands off the wheel I release the brake and this car will automatically steer see steering by itself into the green box I have to keep an eye on my mirrors to make sure I don't hit anything and make sure of course as long as the green box is in the correct location uh, everything will be fine and I'll just back into that parking space steering me into the parking space and my guidance is uh, complete when it beeps. The guidance is finished. You see that? This is part of the advanced technology package. If you ever have trouble parking into a parking space, it also does parallel parking. We're too close. So let's pull forward. Let's say we want to do a uh, parallel park. Let's parallel park. Press OK. I decided that that's where the green box is. I can put the green box anywhere I want. I'm backing it up and it'll parallel park into a parking space on either the left or right side. You see that? Car is steering itself. I'm just watching the mirrors. To make sure I'm not going to hit anything and I'm controlling the brake pedal to manage my speed you know the car the won't stop itself finished. I have to operate the brake but it pulled into that parallel parking designated space that's the automatic parking assist this car as you see it works everything is working there's no warning lights all systems are operational this car like I said was never sold to the public as a Toyota headquarters company vehicle so you'll get to be the first individual to own it even though it's got about 90,000 miles on this car it was owned and maintained by the factory for the factory Toyota factory Toyota headquarters uh, corporate offices in Torrance the factory headquarters for US market so it looks like a showroom condition car almost I mean it's got 90,000 miles you're not gonna find a nicer car than this even with 50,000 miles. It's very clean. The steering wheel. Let's look at the steering wheel. It's not all worn. There's no wear and tear. 
it's all nice and clean all the leather even this center console armrest this wasn't like some guy drove it to work and didn't care took it to the bars at night because only Toyota employees who were authorized to drove, drive this car were driving it maybe Toyota executives you don't want to be the guy working for Toyota who shows up and, and, and is not taking care of your company car. That could reflect badly on your job performance reviews. So they're really good about taking care of it. it does have the Homelink uh, Electrochromic Auto Dimming Mirror. I'm going to wrap it up now. Check out my exterior tour video and give me a call if you're interested to buy this car. Call me direct at 951-681-2101. I do have two keys for this car and I have the books and manuals for it as well. My name is Mike Johnson, 951-681-2101, thank you.